And there are 382,000. That is a measure of layoffs. That number is far too high. And of course, it is rising. Add that to last Friday's dismal America not at work jobs report. Throw in the, the wrinkle of $4 gas, which a majority of Americans are now paying. And it adds up to a slow economy, a very poor job market, rising inflation, $4 gas. And with that as the backdrop, Ben Bernanke this afternoon is widely expected to announce a new money printing operation, trying to get the economy going. Whether it gets the economy going or not is, uh, is in some question here. It will certainly not affect the economy before the election. Yeah. So wrap it all up, Martha. It's a bleak picture. Yeah, what does it really do when you look at the quantitative easing? It, they, they print money, as you say, buy bonds in an effort to, uh, you know, keep interest rates low, that makes the dollar a little bit softer, right? And it makes yep. stocks a little bit more attractive, but how, that doesn't sound like it really affects, you know, everybody just sort of out in America. No, so far it has not. We've pumped out all of this cash into the economy and it's not raised the level of activity in the economy. A lot of that money's found its way onto Wall Street. The stock market's at a four and a half year high. Mm -hmm. But as for getting together a robust recovery, it simply hasn't happened. And it's not likely to happen if Ben embarks on more printing today. Yeah, we've heard so much negative about uh, big bankers and fat cats on Wall Street. And it seems that the, the government action the administration action so far seems to be benefiting uh, those folks more than Main Street. Correct. Uh, at least in this common scenario. That's correct. Stuart, thank you very much. Stuart Martha. Varney, FBN, coming up soon. Back to the